Hey everybody, my name is Kat and welcome back for another video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and simulated pretty much the entirety of the season almost, all the way up to the trade deadline. We did really great, had some lower ups towards the end here. And this is why I'm kind of worried a little bit, but we're still, I mean, we have a fantastic season. So we're definitely going to make the playoffs. The problem is I want to make it to... The top of my division, we were in the contention for a long time for the President Trophy, but I think it's gone now since we started losing a little bit. The Jets are going to get it for sure instead of us. And the Lightning, we're still in the race against the Lightning and the Capitals. I want to beat these two teams at least. Now, at the trade deadline, usually it's either we don't move or we move all the way in. I already have a trade in my. I don't know if it's going to go through. I want to try it. But I don't think it's going to happen. I just don't think. Uh, it, it, the, the value is in there. We could trade Johnson. We just got him. Yes, we just got him. Uh, but for an 8 million deal, 5 years. Uh, he's playing very well on the second line. But he's a twin forward. In the long term, that would hurt our team more than anything else. Uh, I would be willing to uh, give away with him. Nima and Yakola, boys. Both players. Obviously, being prospects that we've uh, we've drafted decent prospects, right? We've drafted both of them; they're decent prospects. And on top of that, I would give away a second round pick. Now, you guys are saying, "Wait, well, who who can you possibly get in exchange for all of that? Two prospects, a decent player, and uh, in a second round." Well, you guys are about to see what I'm talking about right here. Mr. Lafreniere himself. Yes, I'm not shitting you. I can nearly go for him. Uh, is He's got a low enough value that I could possibly get him. 87 year, uh, 87 overall, 82, uh, 22 years of age. Uh, himself, a six-year deal. So he's there for a long time. He's five-star in the puck skills. This is the type of guy we would need to play to have in our team. The value is pretty tied up. We'll see if it works or not, boys. So let's see if that's going to go through. That is not going to go through. So that's what I was thinking. I thought for sure as well that that was not going to work. Last chance. We're going to give away one of these two. I'm going to give away this one. Give away Kavanov. And if they don't want Kavanov, I'm just simply not going to go for it. I'm not trading away a first round pick. It's just a, a quick thing that I wanted to see if I could get him or not. No. So I'm not going to be able to get Lafreniere, boys. It was really close. But I'm just not going to be able to get a player like him. And I did not see anybody else that was really that interesting in terms of upgrades. So we're going to keep Olsen. In the long term, I feel like... Uh, well... In the short term, I feel like that's the best thing we can do, really. And plus, we got Peyton Krebs is going to replace him, hopefully, if he grows, continues to grow. So, yeah, for now, we're, do we're good. I don't see me, myself, really trading away anybody else. I mean, talk, I could, because it's a power forward. But I feel like power forwards are, d are good. They're kind of, they're the same thing as, play as snipers. I could trade him away, just so I could get a playmaker, uh, possibly. Right? Or even try and get something higher. Maybe, yeah. Trade away. I don't know. Trade away instead uh, a Skinner or a Krebs. Not, not Krebs. I don't want to trade Krebs. But maybe trade away a Skinner. But there is a guy that has some value. Yoki Harju. And we could upgrade him for defense. So we'll see if... Uh, I don't know how much value he has though. How many? How much value does Yoki Harju have? Not a whole lot. It's kind of the same as Olsen, to be honest. So it doesn't have a low, whole lot of value. But uh, it's pretty decent still. So we could try and trade him away. Uh, 24 years of age. So yes, he can grow. But uh, he's only 82 overall. So I don't think he's going to grow that much. At most, he's going to be in the 85s. He's not going to be in the high 80s. Uh, so... I feel like we can uh, we can try and trade him away for something good. We can maybe try and find something. If we can't find anything, boys, I'll simply not make any trades. I'll probably look around for a goaltender even. Maybe if we can upgrade one. Uh, so let's take a look around. 
for the defensive par. Is there anything that we can find that's in the in that value, in the 85s and more, right? Uh, something that we could uh, uh, get for sure. So if we take a look right here, there is Cam Fowler, but Cam Fowler is 32 uh, years of age. Bit too risky, boys. Bit too risky, especially since he's a top four. Uh, we can get go for. We want to go for somebody. Uh, Len Home. We already have him. He's our player. Anybody that would be interesting. We're just starting to get a little bit higher up in there. Uh, Enola has a, actually ha is a high top four. Two way defenseman. Top the skills are really good. He's got one year left. I think we could try and go for him, boys. Get an Enola. Would be good. That would be an upgrade for sure. Are you okay, Harju? And we would have to give up like the prospects and stuff like last time I tried to do. Let's try and give up Nimina and Yakola. Nimina and Yakola, boys, for Enola. Straight up. All right, let's see. Uh, not quite there. If I give away maybe uh, this Oshi guy. That was kind of a disappointment to me when I picked him up. Not actually, um, not really. All right, how about Zikov? Can try Zikov, boys. Not at all. All right, so yeah, I'm not gonna make any trades. I feel like I want to keep the same goaltenders as well. Don't want to make any trades. We can look around for goaltenders, but I don't feel like we're gonna find anything. In terms of higher value, boys, there's only one option. It's Vasilevsky. He's the only goaltender in the league with in the in the 90s and plus. So, yeah, I'm going to keep Campbell. I'm keeping Campbell. I'm not going to make any trades, boys. My team's fine as it is. I feel like uh, we're just going to have to let it go as it is. Uh, let's keep simulating right here. I'm having a full confidence, high confidence in my team that they can produce and uh, put points on the board. Obviously, we lost there. Uh, as we go, we're going about to enter the trade deadline. I'm going to skip past it. Uh, obviously, we lost against the, the Jets, but the Jets are just unbeatable. So there's no way we're going to beat them. Uh, Yashin got traded away to uh, St. Jose. For Timu Meyer and uh, uh, Dehan are going to uh, to New York, I guess. So they're getting the uh, Dehan back and they're getting Timu Meyer. That's kind of a minor a minor trade, though. It's not really that big of a deal in terms of trades. Are there uh, bi bigger trades that happen? I mean, there is Jamie Benn right there. Jamie Benn going to Ottawa, but I'm pretty sure he's an old veteran at this point. So that's not much. And Giordano going to uh, going to Winnipeg, I guess. Yeah, not, nothing crazy. It's just a bunch of veterans really switching sides. So not, not a whole lot of big time trades. Actually, no big time trades this time around. It's not like last year where there was a couple of them that were crying kind of crazy so there's two wins in a row you'd like to see that thing is you can see we're starting to give up a lot of goals we're giving like four goals per game yeah almost this is this is not good three at least three goals per game we're giving up that's a bit too much uh we gotta start uh, uh playing a little bit more defensively and jack Quinn got injured so we're gonna have to replace him with Akposo right here uh replace him and get tuck in there instead and also, we're going to have to... Now he's not playing there. He's not there. So I guess put a defenseman in there. Or maybe not. I'm, I mean, we could put Ocposo. Try and put Ocposo in there. Let's not... Let's try it out. Let's try it. Let's try and put Ocposo in there. Why not, boys? Give him a chance to play uh, in the in the power play. Second power play. So let's do that. Wait. Oh, there's still the extras. Okay, so the 3v3 as well. Um, yeah, I guess Akposu, you can be in the 3v3. All right, here we go. So that's uh, done. Let's see if we won. Uh, we lost in regulation against the Washington Capitals. There's a win against the Boston Bruins. An overtime loss against uh, Ottawa. A win against the Nashville Predators. So that's we're at 70 games played now. 92, ga 92 points because we're losing a little bit. It's still a bit too low for me in terms of wins. Uh, we're starting to really like fell, fall down in terms of the President's Trophy. I mean, look at that. 99 points for the Capitals now. They popping, they're popping up. And the, the Jets are actually got surpassed now. That's crazy. I mean, we're in the top tier, but even the Panthers are now... They, they, they actually are starting popping up. So they, they have 92 points. 
there's a lot of things I don't quite understand. There's uh, some teams that are starting to pop up, boys, and are coming up out of nowhere. I guess it's been ever since the trade deadline, right? So we're still the best goal scoring team, and the uh, the goals. I mean, we're still in a, the good spot for the goals. Power play. We're not the best anymore, but still in the, the in there. Our penalty kill is actually atrocious now. So we used to have one of the best penalty kill, but all of a sudden it fell down in pieces. Uh, not too good, boys. We have a bad penalty kill, apparently. That's uh, really not good. So maybe I can switch it up, penalty kill. Instead of passive box, we can do... We can try and do a diamond. Uh, maybe that's going to help out. I'm not too sure. Let's continue simming, boys. We're going uh, straight in. There we go. 6-1 uh, win against the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, which is a, uh, a main rival right now. And Jack Quinn's going to get back in there. So Jack Quinn's going to be back. All right, there we go. So Jack Quinn's back, boys. Let's put him back in his, uh, his uh, former spot. Here we go. And we're about to face off against another rival team, which we lost against them. We lost against the Panthers. Not good. Now they moved up against us. The Columbus Blue Jackets and we win. There's a win. There we go. See, now we're not going for the, the uh, we're not going for the President's Trophy because we're not going to get it. But uh, we are still going for the main spot of the division, the number one spot. We gotta we gotta beat the Panthers though. We gotta stop losing. There's a regulation loss against the Toronto Maple Leafs. A win against the the Philadelphia Flyers. Another loss. Man, Washington is another one of those teams I cannot beat. They're, uh, they're just on top of their game right now. Look at that. So we made the playoffs. We clinched the playoffs. Look at that. We have the same amount of points as the Panthers. And uh, we just got to find a way to beat these guys. Yeah, the, the Jets already clinched the President's Trophy. So they've got it. The Jets are the best team in the league, boys. It's already confirmed. And uh, yeah, all right. So... It's gonna to be tough. Can we get to the 50 goal, uh, the 50, uh, the 50 wins at least? Can we get that? There, oh, 49 wins. There's a win against the Ottawa Senators. The Blue Jackets. We can win against them. We keep winning against them al already. So let's do it. Uh, Darlene is injured right before the playoffs. That is not good. Uh, Dar Dermot's gonna to have to get in there. Who do we want to place in there? Definitely Pirates. Pirates is gonna be in the top, uh, in the top two. I'm going to put uh, power in here. It's going to be a chance for him to play a little bit more time on ice. All right, perfect. And we did win against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yes, I knew we could do it. There we go, boys. So 50 wins in the season right now. We uh, have three more games to play. We have 104 points. I think we're good now. I think we got the first spot for a division. We should have it cleared off, so... That's good. I feel like we did pretty good. Oh, a loss against Montreal. Not good. Not what I wanted to see. The Red Wings. Can we beat them, please? There's a 5 nothing win. Nice. In the last game of the season, it's us against uh, the Lightning, which is another top, uh, tough team, boys. Let's get it, boys. Let's beat their ass. Hold on. Darlene, you're going to have... Well, let's put you back, I guess. Yeah, why not? Let's put you back right away. There we go. So I put back Darlene, and we end up losing against the uh, the Lightning. Not good. Although we did... Yeah, we did get the first spot in our division. So we were the best team in our division. We managed to do it. Not not easy, but we did it, boys. So 106.51 wins. So we were above the 50 uh, wins mark really good we're one of the three only teams to ha have completed the 50 win mark this year so hey we're the third best team in the league boys what do you know that's that's good enough for me that's really good enough for me mekanen 97 points really good for him and uh yeah I, i'm happy i'm happy overall about my team's production i feel everybody played yeah every team played so we can look at the team stats and everything so our team stats we did really good. Uh, we ended up with the most, the biggest power play. If we look at the entire league, actually. So the power play, uh, the goals for per games, we actually ended up uh, with the third uh, the third best offensive uh, team in the league. Uh, uh, Defensive-wise, I want to look around at the Alvarez's side really quick. 
we are in the top 10. Top 10 uh, best defensive team, boys. So that's really good. So our best score this year was Mackinnon with 43 wins, uh, 43 goals. There it is. And our best player was him as well. 97 points. 98 points for Keller. 78 points for Pasternak. Pasternak kind of disappointing. He, I think he dropped off a little bit towards the end here. He definitely started to drop off. I don't know how or why. But he did. Uh, Keller, 88 points though. That's a crazy season. That's a really good one. It really helped him out to, pr uh, to play with these two guys. That's for sure. So uh, Malkin, still a really good season for an 86 overall. It continues to drop, but 75 po of points, boys. That's really good amount of points right here. Darlene with 59 points, his best season in his career by far. And we've got Johnson right here. Andres Johnson, pretty good, uh, decent points. 58 points, middle stat, Olsen. So these are my second line right there. Second line, doing pretty good. We've got um, the third line, Jacqueline and Krebs for the most part. Got a little bit of a Jeff Skinner in there as well. Uh, Quinn did really good. Feel like for the third line, a third line uh, player. He did pretty all right, boys. Not as good as last year, but he still pretty produced pretty well. And uh, for the next part, well, Owen Power for a third duo got, uh, defenseman. Uh, did pretty well. Same season, pretty much as the exact season as last year, but uh, it's still uh, pretty good in my mind. And Parnes, eight points in his debut, boys. A really good defensive defenseman, though. He did his job. Uh, takeaways, 91 giveaways. He gives the puck a lot, which is not, not too good. He, he blocks shots and he hits a lot, though. So, I mean, he compensates for that, I guess. Uh, Goalie-wise, we have Campbell with 40 wins. So Campbell, a 40-win a season for him. A uh, pretty decent season. Um, uh, that's a really good uh, season out of him. Much better last year, that's for sure. Much better last year. He uh, was kind of disappointed last year. Uh, Lukanen had a really popping... He popped off. So really good season for for him. And if we look at around the, the entire league now, the best scorer, once again, in the 60-plus goal mark, Ovechkin for the third time in a year in the 60 goals and plus is 65 goals this time around. 54 for Kucherov, 54 for Matthews as well. And uh, that puts Ovechkin as the best player in the league this year. 116 points, boys. Where is he for the point uh, goals now? 915 goals in his career. He, he, he surpassed, by far he surpassed uh, Gretzky. It's done. He did it a lot better than in previous Let's Play. It took a while for the previous Let's Play. But this Let's Play, he did it in three years only. And uh, there it is. So he surpassed Gretzky. He's the best goal scorer of all time. And if he keeps playing for an, at least an, one or two more years, boys, another two years and he's going to get it a, a thousand goals. So let's see if he's going to be able to do it i hope so that would be great right below him 111 points is patrick kane boys fantastic career for him it's a really good all he's an all famer as well obviously he's a really great player of all time uh john carlson carlson defenseman boys getting 103 points when was the last time a defenseman actually got those points that was like uh, paul coffee slash kind Slash Raymond Bourg era right there. That was the type of that's the type of defenseman he is. That's a lot of points. A hundred and three points for a defenseman. Yeah, that's crazy. Carlson uh, had one of those seasons, boys. Uh, Kuznetsov, of course. The Brinkat, uh, Sebastian Ao, Mackinnon. So Mackinnon really did great, boys. He was in the top fifteen. Uh, Connor and Shifley. There it is. We've got Tom Schnuzel as well, having a pop-up season. For the rest, if we go to the defensive par, of course, Carlson, Hughes, uh, Quinny Hughes, boys, 85 points. All these other guys. Nils Lumpfix, I don't know about this guy. This guy kind of came out of nowhere a little bit, okay. And these are pretty much uh, that. Uh, Darlene, fortunately, was not in the top 15. was right below that. Had to go in the 60s in order to do that. Uh, and the best, ooh, yeah, by far the best goaltender of the year is Ellabach with 45 wins, 
920 saving percentage. Ella Bach, uh popped up as well. Yeah, he had a fantastic season. Uh, Shesterkin played 70 games though, so that doesn't really count. He played almost every single game of, of his team. Uh, 40 wins, but uh, Anderson, Campbell, and Swayman, all three of them had 40 wins. So pretty decent. Uh, really good for these guys. For the rookie skaters, Connor Bedal, boys. Obviously, first season uh, in the first scene of, of his career. As soon as he got drafted, he started playing. Same thing for Johnson as well. But he's mar much better. He's second overall. He got picked second overall. Johnson got picked before him, boys. I don't know. The Canucks should have probably played. I mean, he did a really. They have a really good player, but. Bedal's just a really much better player. I guess Johnson is a scorer compared to Bedal, though, who's a more rounded, uh, even rounded player. So Bedal, yeah, he's just a stud across the board. Uh, so he got, he gets his, uh, he gets drafted and right away gets the Calder boys straight away after that. Uh, that's really good. So uh, whose team got? Uh, I think it was yeah, the Flames got won the cup last year. So we'll see, boys. Uh, we'll hop on in right away to the playoffs. We'll see who our first opponent is going to be. And it's going to be the New York Rangers. Okay, so we're facing off against the New York Rangers. It's also a battle of the South for Florida versus Tampa Bay, boys. Interesting. That's very interesting uh, indeed. Okay. Let's take a look at our um, opponents really quick. What do they have? It's our first ever uh spot it's the first time that we're going to be in the playoffs for this particular let's play so it's gonna, it's exciting for sure let's hope that we can get past these guys though panarin's a bit of chat and timo meyer they're brand new acquis uh, acquisition boys uh, i feel like that would be a really good one lafreniere chittle and Yurov. Yurov, which is a medium elite boys big time prospect for them okay and Kreider, Jonathan Taze as a depth def uh, def forward, okay. Kratsov, uh, Kapo Kako playing in the fourth line, very interesting. He's actually a top six. He's not an elite. In mm. he dropped off. His potential dropped off. Wow. Miller Fox, oh, Adam Fox though. Wow. Yeah, that's a really good defenseman. Longvis, which popped up, boys. He popped up uh, in the top de uh, defenseman. Lingren, okay. Dahan and Truba. Okay, and uh, Golden Wise, Shesterkin, and they've got Renta as a backup. Yeah, they've got a really good team. They have a really good team. I am intrigued, to say the least, as how they're going to play against us. Obviously, we're going real-time simulation. So let's start with the first game. We'll see how it goes. Now, remember, it's a best of... Uh, I think it's a best of three, right? It's a best of three, so whoever gets... Uh, two wins in the in the playoff gets to advance. So we just need two wins, boys. Best of three is stressful, but you just got to basically win three games. You, you win the first game and then uh, you have one game to breathe. All right. So penalty kill. We ended off killing off. Good. So far, it's pretty even matchup. Uh, it seems like another penalty kill, though. We got to stop taking these penalties. Uh, a goal, a just regular goal by Chris Kreider. Um, we got to get uh, ourselves some goals in there. We're not scoring any. That's very much unlike the uh, the, the team I saw uh, during the fir first ever game. Oh, there we go. Power play goal for Pasternak. Penalty kill again. We're getting a lot of penalty kills right here. Killing off our momentum pretty much right here. Even though it's a really uh, even game. It's really killing off our game right here. There it is. Keller, boys. Clayton Clutch Keller. Scoring a goal uh, towards the last three minutes of the, the game in order to, uh, to give us the game-winning goal. That's really fantastic. Love to see that. that. That's exactly the type of thing I wanted to see. Keller being clutch for us, boys. That's why he's called Clayton Clutch Keller because he's clutch. He's, he keeps scoring goals for you. For you at the right moment. So that's really good. He ended up scoring a goal for at uh, the last minute for us. And giving us the win. We just need to win the other game. We win the other game and we advance. To the next uh, the next round boys. Let's win it. Alright. Now we did end up having a tough time. 
Uh, it was pretty much evened out. I want to keep the same line, obviously. Second line, yeah. Third line, not so much. Oh, Peyton Krebs is now an 85. He drew, uh, he grew up, boys. He grew. Peyton, uh, Peyton Krebs did manage to grow. And I feel like he's a much better player than Johnson. We're putting him in there. There we go. That's a plus five across the board, just like that. So we're going to do that. We're just going to do that. Two plus fives. Peyton Krebs is now... Uh, did now, uh, now grew. And uh, we're just going to hop on in straight away. Second game, boys. Let's see how it's going to go up against the, the New York Rangers. We end up killing off a penalty right off the bat. Still against pretty even matchup, boys, in terms of shots. But Darlene's going to score a goal for us. Yes. He's going to break the tie up first. And uh, yeah, let's keep it going, boys. Keep playing well. Play very well defensively as well. We have a very good defensive team right here, it seems like. Not a team that scores a lot of goals in the... Uh, compared to what we saw, right, against the Toronto Maple Leafs, we don't score a lot of goals. Kreider is the only one that scored goals for the other team so far. Uh, we're killing out the penalties. Power play, we couldn't score. And we're about to enter the third period right here. Oh, that's a goal-breaking... Goal Game breaking goal right there. 20 game, 20 seconds left into the second period, and Mekanen's gonna score for us. That's a game breaking goal right there for uh for uh, the Rangers. Yes, I, I'll take it. I'll definitely power play. There we go. Power play goal for Mekanen as well, boys. I'll definitely take those. I'll take those for sure. My first line's doing fantastic. Krasov, there we go. There is finally a player for the Rangers uh, other than Kreider who scored, but. A bit too late right here. A bit, little bit too late. And uh, we managed to do that. The, those two goals and that game-breaking goal at 20 seconds left definitely made the, the, the change, right? It made the difference at the, at the end of it. It made the difference. And we managed to win it, boys. So we move, we're moving past the Rangers. We're going to the second round right away. That's exactly what I want to see. Um, unfortunately, Lindholm is injured, so Dermot's going to have to get in there. Uh, once again, we're going to put Pirons in there. He's a better a better player. All right, there we go. So that's going to be that. Uh, hopefully, Lindholm's going to have time to go come back before the uh, before the second round. I don't know if it's going to be the case or not. I, I would hope so. So let's see who we're going to be facing in the second round, boys. The Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. We're talking about a team that won two cups in a row not too long ago. And uh, yeah, this is pretty bad. One of the best teams. It's our it's our in the same division of us uh, as us, of course. We had, for the most part, the better end of them. Clutch uh, Keller is having a really good uh, time right now. Five points in two games played. Let's see if we can beat him. We'll see what type of team do they have. They have a stud team. I already know they, uh, they do. It's going to be tough to beat them. Uh, Killorn, Point, and Kucherov. Yeah, that's really good. They've got it's very similar to our uh, very own first line. Uh, Shirelli, Stamkos, and uh, Obe Kubel. Uh, yeah, it's it's decent. I feel like my team. Well, I feel like it's kind of similar. Kitchuk, all right. Um, Colton and Joseph. Okay. Brassard, Ola, and Foligno. So a lot of veterans in the, the in the defenseman department, de depth department department. Uh, Hedman, Chernak, Sergachev, there's the line in McDonough and uh, Foot. They've got some decent defensemen. I've got a better defensive core, I feel like. They've got some really good team. Very similar. Very similar team once again, boys. Let's see if uh, we're gonna be able to get a uh, surpass them. I hope so. Uh, there we go. There's a power play goal right off the bat. First shot, first goal for, for a power play. Power play goal on the second shot for Colton, though, uh, on the Tampa Bay side. Power play goal for Malkin. And a second goal in a row for Olsen. Okay, so we got to watch out. This is a power play. This is a special team. Uh, this is a special teams type of game right there. Uh, two, two, three out of the four goals that have been scored in the game have been all scored in the power play. So this is another power play goal. Power play goal for Johnson. We are popping up right here, boys. Seems like the penalty kill, Tampa Bay's penalty kill is atrocious, so do we gotta take advantage of that. 
Uh, jo Joseph is gonna score. Uh, we can still get it though. We only we're getting outplay big time though. Penalty kill. Can we kill it off? I think, I think we did. Yeah, we ended up killing it off and a regular goal by Mekinen. There we go. Think we got this game in the bag, boys. Even though they're dominating us. All right, they're definitely outplaying us. Tempo Bay Lightning is outplaying us. The thing is, they're atrocious in penalty kill, it seems like. And that is an advantage for us. Mal Malkin is now going to score for us. And Kucherov's going to score a goal for them late. A bit too late, though. 6-3 to three win for us convincingly. Uh, just in the first... Uh, the two first periods, we got three out of four goals. We got like four goals and three out of those four ones were in power play. So, yeah, that was definitely a power play event right here. Let's let's go straight into it, boys. Straight into the second game. Not going to mess around. We'll see if it's going to be the same case right here. We're still getting outplay once again. But a, a goal by Keller. There we go. Keller opening up the, the, the score, boys. We are doing very well, uh, very well against these teams, it's, uh, or this team in particular, it seems like. Kucherov is going to score a goal, even things out. And uh, this is going to be a late goal for Middlestat, game-breaking goal again, boys. These other teams are getting uh, giving goals away, especially the Tampa Bay Lightning. I feel like their defense is, like I said, their defense is not as good as ours. Peyton Grebs is gonna is gonna score a goal for us. Yeah, their defense is not as good as ours, and even though uh, they were outplaying us, especially in the first game, as Krebs is gonna get a second goal in a row, uh, we I feel like we're just better off, and we're like we are able to roll over them because of that. Power play goal for Darlene. Foligno is gonna screen and throw back up, followed by another goal by Keller. So second goal in the game for Keller as well. Yeah, this is, um, we're dominating this team. I expected a little bit more of a, of a challenge against the Temple Bay Lightning, but I guess not so much, boys. I guess they're not that much of a challenge. And just like that, convincing 6-2 wins. So 6-3 and 6-2 wins. Convincingly, uh, in a convincing ma uh, fashion, we managed to defeat... Easily the uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning and move on to the, in the next round and we're still waiting on a verdict Who are we gonna face off against the Boston Bruins or the Columbus Blue Jackets in the third round and let's see really quick It's gonna be the Columbus Blue Jackets. So We're gonna be facing the Columbus Blue Jackets in the third round Which means that we're gonna have a brand new well. We're already had that confirmed really the uh, the Calgary Flames got uh, eliminated the first round, but we're going to have a brand new winner for the cup, boys. The brand new champion. I knew as soon as I had my hands on Mekinen and Pasternak that I was going to have a really good day. A really good season. Especially with the Pirates coming in. Power and stuff. Like, everybody is in here. So, we got we got a lot of studs. So, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.